Hey everyone, in this video I'd like to talk about brand new research, which is early evidence that something other than evolution and natural selection is responsible for producing complex functional structures in the human body. One of the most interesting areas in research in science right now is the study of the human brain. This field is called neuroscience and neurophysiology. Now what makes the human brain different from, say, the brain of chimpanzees? This research answers some of these questions. In most animals, there are chromosomal regions which are highly conserved between species. What is meant by highly conserved? Well, when one compares these chromosomal regions between such animals as mouse, rat, rabbit, chimp, and uh, chickens, they're almost exactly the same. Let's take the HAR1 gene, for instance. It differs by only one base pair between chimp and rabbit. It differs by one base pair between rabbit and mouse. And it differs by one base pair between mouse and chimpanzee. Yet, it differs by whooping 18 base pairs between humans and chimps. Let's take a look at another figure. The difference in base pairs between chimpanzee and chicken at this gene is two base pairs represented by the purple boxes. <coughs> the difference between human and chimp is 18 represented by the red boxes. Yet the common ancestors of chickens and, uh, and chimps is thought to have lived 3 mil 300 million years ago while the common ancestor of chimps and humans is hypothesized to have lived only 6 million years ago. How could so many substitutions occur in 6 million years, yet only two between chickens and chimps in 300 million years? Now, when scientists looked at what HAR1 does, this is what they found. The HAR1 is expressed in the embryo during early stages of brain development of the neocortex. This is the largest part of the brain in humans. The neocortex is responsible for much, for much of what is considered to be higher thought, for example, intelligence, imagination, language ability, mathematical ability, etc. Now this gene, called HAR1, is expressed exactly at the same time and the same tissues as a protein called relin, which is known to be very important in the development of interconnections between neurons in the human brain. So this gene, HAR1, is thought to be involved in the formation of the neocortex in humans and produces the difference between the chimp and human brain. Now from here on, the research gets even more interesting. The human chromosome undergoes mutation at a constant rate of 1 times 10 to negative 3 substitutions per site per million years. So in 1 million years, not even one base pair substitution is expected to occur in the hormone gene. So it's very surprising that in only 1 million years, 18 mutations occurred in this gene. So, so the mutation in the hormone gene is something like 100 times faster than what would be expected due to normal mutation natural selection. How could this area of the genome mutate at such a high rate? Well, there are two hypotheses which were proposed. Let's take a look at hypothesis A, evolution. One possible explanation is that it was evolution and natural selection which caused these mutations. For example, let's say these mutations were very beneficial, so they were strongly selected for by natural selection. For example, intelligence is very beneficial. So it was strongly selected for. Now, this hyp hypothesis was actually disproved by a study entitled, the study showed that very weak selection at the site occurred and natural selection could not account for the rapid accumulation of changes. Another hypothesis, hypothesis B, is that these mutations were due to complete random uh, recombinations in an area of the DNA which is high in GC bases. Now I'm not going to go through what GC bases exactly are, but I'm just going to mention that you know, DNA is made up of A, T, G, and C bases and some areas of the DNA are higher in AT bases and other uh, areas are higher in GC bases. So anyway, uh, the most evidence currently is that is that these differences in the uh, uh, in the human and chimp uh, genome were due to um, these uh, changes from AT to GC bases, due to random, completely random recombination. And the source for that is given on the screen. So these recombinations were completely random, occurred in a very short period of time, in less than a million years, and these changes were not selected for by natural selection. Research has shown that these 18 base pair mutations are now fixed in the human genome. That is, when humans are compared to one another, there isn't a single deviation from these 18 mutations. Again, how could this be explained? This is thought to occur because any deviation from the 18 mutations causes this gene to lose function. A deviation from this gene at one base pair in the human gene population is called a single nucleotide polymorphism. Not a single nucleotide polymorphism could be identified in humans. Therefore, here is the dilemma. All 18 mutations must occur for this gene to function, as evidenced by the lack of single nucleotide polymorphisms at this gene in humans. 
yet all base pair mutations occur randomly without the help of natural selection. What are the chances that 18 mutations occurred exactly in the right place in a short period of time to produce the HAR1 gene? Well, we can do simple calculations. The HAR1 gene is 118 base pairs long. What are the chances that the correct substitutions occurred at 18 correct sites due to random chromosomal recombination? Well, we can represent this using a graphic. I'm showing a picture of the HAR1 gene on the screen. And the substitutions occur in positions uh, 7, 16, 17, 20, 29, 30, etc. All shown with the uh, purple uh, boxes. In the chimp version of this gene, uh, there are 83 uh, positions where ART nucleotide bases can be substituted into GRC nucleotide bases. Therefore, this is like playing the lotto. For example, Super 6. But instead of drawing 6 numbers, you have to draw 18 numbers correctly. The 18 numbers represent the 18 positions on this gene where substitutions could have occurred. So let's calculate the odds uh, that 18 correct positions were chosen. The odds of drawing the first position correctly is 18 over 83 because there are 18 substitutions and 83 slots to draw from. And drawing the second position correctly is 17 over 82 and the overall odds of drawing two correct positions together are 18 over 83 times 17 over 82. Drawing three numbers correctly is 18 over 83 times 17 over 82 times 16 over 81 etc. and so forth. We can do these calculations for 18 numbers and if you do the calculation, the answer becomes 1 over, I don't even know what that number is. Um, it's like 782 sextillion something. So in conclusion, current evidence suggests that the HAR1 gene did not come into existence through natural selection and that it was one of the genes responsible for the difference in brains between chimps and humans. Thus, a process other than natural selection called bias gene conversion, or BCG for short, was responsible for um, creating these structures as complex as the human brain. The chance that this process produced a hormone gene is 1 over 782,617,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,